initially I developed this technique for the multiple instruments. Um, it started out with the two guitars, <clears throat> but before that it actually started with uh, the percussive guitar styles. Like uh, you see a lot of guys doing uh, something that I picked up from like Michael Hedges and Preston Reed. And uh, the initial concept for me was that uh, I was a touring musician beforehand. I was a singer-songwriter, and I was just looking for a way to get more more music out of out of just me and a guitar on a on a stage. And um, just just out of the blue, I kind of somebody dared me more or less to come up with you know to to play the two guitars at the same time. And um, from that 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 initial introduction, I I sat and you know kind of figured out what I could do with two guitars at the same time and why I would go about doing it, not just for flash, for for um, how you fill out sound, how you how you make the one person sound like more than one person, or um, kind of the band experience, but in a, a smaller self-contained package that's much cheaper, cheaper to tour with. Okay, so this is the mandolin on the top and the guitar on the bottom. The guitar is tuned to C. So all this all the strings from the, the logo C, G, C, G, C. And the guitar is, or the mandolin, I'm sorry, is tuned to a G, which is G, D, G, D. So the, uh, what is that, the, the, the uh, mandolin's a fourth up from the guitar. Um, but generally when I'm playing the two, I play the guitar in G as well, even though it's tuned to C. So a um, good chord to start with would be that, that, that hammer on right there is a G. So um, I'm just hammering mostly the, the three top bass notes and then throwing in um, these two notes right here, which would be those are <laughs> their notes um, I'm just doing something like that and then that's a 12th fret slap slapping the harmonic right there and so the guitar is doing that while the mandolin is just doing a basic strumming pattern like a To, um, to mute the strings to get some of the dynamics out of it so that I'm got the muted and the open. And then when I do the solo part, I'm actually um, I'm just strumming the open C and I'm playing the mandolin now, even though it's tuned to G, I'm actually playing a C scale. And then I'm spreading an E right here. And so the whole thing in speed is like a... techniques I use for the drum. Um, one is just the where my one hand's playing the drum. It's a, it's a bit of a hybrid that I've tried to figure out from mostly from watching tabla players um, as I thump the top of the guitar. So like um like a, a good rhythm would be like a to imitate multiple instruments is obviously thumping it, but I'm thumping it in specific places. So to imitate 
the sound that a, a percussionist gets when he's hitting the edge of the drum, I thump the edge of the drum, and that leaves my thumb to hit the bass note, so. Just adds to the dynamic range of the drum, really. Um, there's another technique that I use with the drum. A little bit more difficult than that. Because it requires me to strum the guitar with my thumb at the same time I'm playing the drums with the other hands. So both hands are on the guitar and both hands are on the drum at the same time. It's complicated. <laughs> that um, slower version of that comes to, <laughs> I don't know if I can play it slower actually <laughs> um, so so my strums my thumbs doing all the strumming my thumbs just doing that really I guess I am throwing in a trill as well, like a, it's a, a reverse of a riscato, riscato. It's um, instead of doing a riscato down, it's a riscato um, up, and then on the downstroke, I'm hitting the thumb again, but also thumping. So it's like, 